What a beautiful day here in Bakersfield, California. Today is the 2nd of 2012, and I'm doing an intake manifold on a 1999 Chevy Suburban with the um, Vortex engine. The first thing to do is to remove spark plug number one, put a rag in it and crack until the crack pops, and then it'll be a top dead center, make sure it lines up. Remove all the electrical, hang it onto the top, Move the AC compressor and put it on a side over here. Remove the alternator and the pulley. The um, AC compressor bracket and the power stream bracket. Remove the three bolts and the two or three the two bolts and one nut on the bottom. And you can pull it forward. It's a very stupid design because they didn't put any bolts in the center of the heads or the intake, so it tends to leak every five six years. Um, but there it is. It took me about four hours to get it out. And here's how it looks. Took out the valve covers to clean them and put new valve cover gaskets. And you do have to take them off um, to uh, clean them and put new, new gaskets and to remove the intake. You really don't have to take out the top part out of that um, intake. And you could still remove it together. But I, this is the second time I do it, so I wanted to make sure that I clean it and I put a new seal. But last time I did it, I didn't take out the top piece. Uh, check the distributor, make sure it has no play. Uh, remove the, the fuel, this fuel line from the, the back and take out the back bolt. And just put it back together as you took it off. Like I said, it's not a very smart design that they did, but it works well. Like The only thing that fails every four years. Um, and with that, like I said, just take it off and put it back the way you took it off. My name is Adam, and I'm from Bakersfield, California. And this is my, my Chevelle that I'm working on. But I'll talk about my Chevelle uh, some other time. Um, I'll repost uh, any new information that it'll make it easier to replace the uh, intake manifold. Thanks.